In this video, we're going to explore using a waterless car wash spray to clean your tires and your rims. We're going to look at using both just the spray and along with a wheel cleaner to really hit the heavy grime. And we're going to see what results we get. We're going to look at this right now on Nexus Auto. So what do you need to do the waterless cleaning on your wheels if you just need a quick, nice quick cleaning without any water present or anything like that? Well, everything here at the most. So at the very least, you'll need some kind of uh, waterless, uh, waterless wash or waterless wash and wax. I'm just using Simon Eyes here, just a regular store-bought product, um, and some microfiber cloths. Now, at the same time, depending on how dirty your rims actually are, you may need actually a more solid rim cleaner and something to scrub the tires and something to scrub the rims. But we'll show you that, I'll actually show you both just using the waterless and using both in conjunction together. And we'll go through that right now and uh, see how it turns out. This is the first rim we're gonna use here. As you can see, it is very dirty, um, but no big brake dust buildup or anything like that. So this should just use with the regular uh, waterless on its own, should work sufficiently. The rubber is also a little bit worn out, but not too bad, it's just dirty and things like that. What do you expect? Um, so, you know, that's just what we're going to use, just the waterless on this one. So we're just going to spray it on fairly liberally, not, you don't want to over soak, but you know, you want to make sure you're getting all aspects of the tire, top to bottom. Also, you start from spraying from the top and work your way down, so some of the, this overspray will run down, save you a little bit of product and kind of do some of the work for you. So we just start from the top, nice even sprays. So we just leave it just for a minute to soak in. Um, some of them have different directions. This one you can just spray on and leave, but some of them will have specific times for you could spray it. Now, when you're looking at the times, it's all gonna be really relative to how you work with the body of a car. Modern rims these days are all clear coated. They're painted in the same manner and fashion as you would see on a, um, a the body of a car. So you treat it in the same way. The only older rims or things like that you wouldn't, but all current regular cars use the same idea. So you just grab this uh, uh, one microfiber cloth and we're going to just clean uh, the rims first and then I'll clean the tires as well. You can actually use two separate mi microfiber cloths. One for the tires and one for the rims. And also you want to make sure you're doing this where it's kind of a cool place. Uh, you know, you don't want to, uh, the heat on here. It can make the stuff dry quickly. Quickly, You don't want it to dry on there too quickly. Um, sorry. You don't want it to dry on there or anything like that. You don't want it to dry too quickly or anything. So you want to make sure you're, you know, working with relatively good speed. If it dries on, it'll be harder to clean up afterwards. After done, then you just grab another clean microfiber cloth. In this case here and you're then gonna buff out. The tire, the, rim, uh, so the tire itself, you can actually just leave and it will actually um, uh, dry out on its own. It'll oxidize and dry out on its own. You just don't wanna leave anything on the rim itself. Most wa uh, all these waterless systems, they do promote that they're not supposed to scratch the system, uh, s scratch the rims. And so far, uh, I haven't seen it really scratch any rims, tires, um, obviously tires not, it's rubber. Uh, the bodies of the car and everything seems to be worked pretty well. Can't really substitute for an actual car wash, but it gets a job done if you're in a pinch and you're out somewhere, you want to get a nice quick clean in. It's good to have around, as you can see there. It does the job fairly well. In the meantime, the rim has now dried, uh, sorry, the tire is now dried off. And uh, you can go ahead and if you want, if you have a tire dressing, you can actually apply that right now, no problem. Uh, and if you have anything like a quick spray wax or anything you want to put on the rims to just buff out and give you some extra shine, now it's a good time to do it as well. So now we're gonna do the front rim here. Uh, now, because it's got the brakes on it that does the majority of the braking, it's the front of the car so it gets hit with the most, it's also dirty. Now, you can see the rim here, that's dirty as you'd expect, but down here you've got a lot of brake buildup and things like that, a lot of dirt and grime. So, just hitting it with a waterless uh, wash is not going to be enough. 
Now, as you saw, I had a wheel cleaner. Now, this is the one I'm using. I'm not supporting or endorsing this uh, McGuire's one or anything like that, but it's the one we're going to use for this. And you got to know that a lot of these uh, rim and wheel cleaners, the heavy duty ones, when you spray on, you can't leave them on because they will stain or etch the rims and it can stain the paint. So we're going to use both products together, the waterless wash and the rim cleaner. I'm going to show you that now just to get an idea of what to do if your rims happen to be really dirty. Um, I should say though that you sh if you're going to be using the waterless system a lot on your rims, maybe don't let it get that dirty because maybe you want to just do it once a week a touch, uh, as a touch up. And then if you're going to um, use something like this, maybe use water, but at the same time, um, you know, you never know, maybe you're, you've gone out somewhere, you forgot, you just want to spruce up the car a bit and you realize it's kind of dirty. So you can use this method I'll show you now. So the first thing you want to do is you do want to saturate everything with the waterless wash. So we're just going to spray nice even sprays right across. Get everywhere on the rim. Put a little bit of focus on these areas here. And then immediately we're going to spray it with the tire and rim cleaner. Now the waterless wash is going to act like a lubricant and it's going to help it kind of slide down and help kind of clean a little bit better than if you just sprayed it on dry. Uh, read the instructions of course on your, on, as again I said before on the waterless wash but even on your tire and rim cleaner because this one for example says only leave on for like 15 seconds. You don't want to leave it on too long. Um, follow the instructions. Now we're just going to grab our scrub brush. Just like if you were washing your car. And then I'm going to grab, you guys have seen me use this before. And then we're just going to Get it really get in there and scrub into what you have. All the brake dust, grime, dirt, anything, get all that out. Now, once this part's done, you want to hit it again with more waterless wash. If you just, just like if you're washing a car, if you just start wiping off, you're still leaving a lot of this on there and again you don't want to ruin it this will help re-lubricate things so you can clean it off with the microfiber so again you just spray on and then begin by wiping off so I'm gonna just grab my dirty microfiber if you see any build up in here again you don't want any of the rim cleaner to stay on so clean up in here if you if you can get inside here and then you want to grab another cloth to dry off and actually I'm gonna do use another one just to clean off the tire you'll see a lot will come off of it uh, that's the if you saw the brown as I talked about in the previous videos that's the wax in the tire and stuff like that or dirt, sediment, previous uh, solutions, anything that's sitting in the tire. So you get all that off. And you get another cloth and you're just going to kind of buff dry, right? Make sure you get everywhere, get all the solution. Flip the cloth as you clean, as you go. You don't want to leave any, any of, the waterless wash is not going to do damage, it's more the tire and rim cleaner you got to be concerned about, so you want to make sure you get everything off. And when done, as you can see, you're all good to go. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope this video has helped you out here today. Now let's go through some of the YouTube stuff, shall we? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video has helped you out. And if you want to see my future videos, I try and put out one at least once a week. Make sure to hit notifications as well, just so you can get those videos. On the flip side to that, if you didn't like the video for whatever reason and you do dislike it, not a problem. Feel free to leave in the comments of why you disliked it, whether it be something I did wrong, whether it's something you didn't like in the video. By all means, just let me know so I can keep making the best content possible. It's kind of the whole point of it, so make sure to do that. 
Speaking of the con uh, comments, um, if you have any questions, concerns, anything you want to add on, anything you see you can do better, anything that maybe you add on and it actually is worse, whatever it is, feel free to leave it in the comments. Nothing wrong with that. I always try and answer whenever I can. It may not be the same day, next day, whatever, but I try and answer all comments. So make sure to leave that as well. Once again, I want to thank you very, very much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.